Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Miles to Go, number five, wrapping up the series, or maybe the arc, I'm not quite sure. There is an, the end at the end. I think there might be a question mark at the end, but there's definitely the end. Um, yeah, there's a question mark, so maybe we'll get more. Uh, it's written by B. Clay Moore, Stephen Molnar is the artist and colorist, Dave Sharp is the letter. Uh, so it's been a little while since the fourth issue. Thankfully, things, I didn't at least forget things uh, by this fifth issue. Uh, it's an interesting finale for the series. I will say, it does, to me, it does not stick the landing. It throws in things that feel like they're coming out of left field, uh, that you're just kind of like, wait, what? Uh, up to this point, we have assumed that there's this uh, woman who's been trained as an assassin, uh, the CIA or whoever is kind of like cleaning up the, the program of, of her, her uh, mentor and, and like getting rid of people here and there and that she's one of the targets. She's on the run with her daughter. Uh, this throws all that up in the air being like there's so much more to it. It kind of gets into a space where like it goes from that grounded action uh, 80s kind of action film to a little bit ridiculousness. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm not quite up for the twist. It, it's the fifth issue. It feels like a really weird twist to throw in at that fifth issue. Um, and I think the, the series and the story would have been much stronger just sticking with the idea of, you know, kind of like Wetworks team or whatever and, and the CIA clearing stuff up and, you know, maybe that's off the books itself and not quite on the up and up and like what exactly is going on. Um, the series, I think, would have been much, much better just sticking with that, but it throws in a whole bunch of other elements that gets things uh, rather messy and just it just feels like it comes out of, of nowhere um, for, for a detriment. Like, it just doesn't quite work the way I hoped it would. Uh, it's still an entertaining series and it's an entertaining story. If there's another volume, I think maybe this finale would work a little bit better, but with it, the finale, like, or another volume being unknown... Like, if there's definitely another arc, cool, it explores this, but just leaving it as is, it's just like, wait, what? Uh, the art continues to be really solid. I think it, it works well for the series. It really plays off kind of that gritty action film vibe that it's got going. Um, I, I really, I've enjoyed the art. Um, and this is, it's an interesting issue. It really is an interesting issue. I just don't think it quite sticks the landing that it was trying to. Um, and it really plays off of whether or not we get another volume of the series of, of does this finale work. So as is, I'm going to go with no, um, but we'll see. The series as a whole will be uh, is uh, to be determined down the road. If you've been reading the series, grab this. If you've not, eh, this might be one. You, like, it's definitely an issue you can skip. The series itself, eh, I'm, I'm kind of still debating on my overall recommendation. Uh, it's out in comic shops now. You can go get it. we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. Tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage by doing that. You help support our site, so thank you. Speaking of support, I want to thank Aftershock for going to us up with the review copy. And, of course, you all, uh, thank you all for watching. If you're into comics, if you're into Aftershock, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.